this video lecture you will learn about CMOS transmission gates it is also called as pass gates so here we have the different symbol of CMOS transmission gate the first thing is it is consisting of one NMOS and one PMOS transistor connected in parallel here we have a NMOS transistor and this is the PMOS transistor and the both are connected in parallel over here similarly in all this diagram we can see that NMOS and PMOS are connected in parallel second thing is that the gate voltage will control the flow of input output so here the complementary signal to both the transistor is given if there is a C over here then C bar over here so therefore it is a complementary signal and the last point is that it is a bidirectional switch between A and B which is controlled through the C. Let's see how transmission gate is working. Here we have one transmission gate. Let's say this is our input A and this is our output B. Now if I want to turn on this transmission gate then I have to give a logic 1 over here and as this is the C bar it will be a 0 over here. So in this case as this is the NMOS transistor and this is the PMOS transistor NMOS will be turned on for it and there is a path from A to B. Similarly this PMOS will be again turned on and there is a path from this also. So for this input condition the transmission gate will work. Similarly, if I will give a 0 over here and 1 over here, then in this condition the transmission gate will be turned off and there is no connection between A and B because NMOS over here is turned off and the PMOS over here is again turned off. So let's see how it exactly working for the input 1 as well as 0 or logic 1 and 0. Let's see it for logic 1. Here we have a, a is VDD that is logic 1, C is VDD that is 1 over here and this C bar is ground. So this which is transmission gate is right now turned on and we will see that the logic 1 will be transferred to the B via PMOS transistor because PMOS will pass a strong 1. Similarly here we have a A is 0. Now we have 1 over here and 0 over here. So this transmission gate is again turned on and there is a path from NMOS transistor because NMOS will pass a strong 0. So this is how a transmission gate is beneficial. Next, let us design two input multiplexer circuit using two CMOS transmission gate. Here, I would like to give you one trick to design any circuit. You first focus on the expression of that circuit. Here we have the expression of multiplexer that is F is equal to A S bar plus B S. So let's take one transmission gate for A as part term and another transmission gate for BS. So here we are considering the first transmission gate. Then we have another term, so it is BS. Okay, so now 
whatever output we will need over here that we will write down let's say a s bar and here we need b s so whatever you required over here that can be mentioned at this two point let's say a over here and s bar over here so this is our trick to design a transmission gate and then similarly as you have s over here so we will say that this is the s and this is the b now what you need is the plus sign that is or operation so here we will simply sort a s bar plus b s now let's take the input a over here so we will connect a to this point if there is a s bar over here then here we will have s similarly if s is over here we will have s bar over here so we can directly sort this to terminal because it is a s bar let's take b over here so here we have a b now the third thing we required is a s bar and s so let's take a selection line s and give it to over here s similarly this s will be connected to the upper point also now we need s bar also so we will take another line and draw s bar so this is our s bar which is going to be connect with this point so that is how you can simply design a two input multiplexer circuit using two cmos transmission gates let's design another circuit eight transistor cmos transmission gate implementation of the xor function so we know that xor function is represented by a b bar plus a bar b so let's again take a two transmission gate now let's recall our rule number 1 that is first write down this output let's say a b bar then here we have let's say a bar b now as we have a b bar over here we can consider b bar and a similarly here we will consider b and here we will have a bar so now if there is a b over here we will have b bar over here if there is a b bar over here then there is a b over here now what we need is a or operation so they will be in parallel so let's sort it and this is going to be our f equal to a b bar plus a bar b 
then we will consider the input a so we will directly connect a over here and we required a bar so we will draw a inverter remember that inverter is consisting of nmos and pmos so which represent a two transistor now next we required b so here we will consider a b now this two will be the short circuited b we can directly connect to the point this and this similarly for b bar we have one more inverter over here which is connected at this point this is how we can design xor gate using eight transistor let me explain you how it is a eight transistors so here we have two transistor nmos and pmos similarly here we have a two transistor these two inverter are again representing a two transistor so therefore there is a total eight transistor and this with the help of this eight transistor we have designed a xor function next we will see cmos transmission gate realization of three variable boolean function here we have one three variable boolean function that is f equal to ab plus a bar c bar plus a b bar c now let's simplify this function first here we can see that we have a is common so we will write this equation as f equal to a common in bracket b plus b bar c plus a bar c bar so let's start with our rules first we will consider this b so one transmission gate over here for b so now we want here b so we will give b over here and therefore b bar over here and here we will consider a logic one that is vdd now next we will design for b bar c so for b bar c let's take another transmission gate now what we need is b bar c so here we will have b bar so there is a b over here and c as a input okay now we want to add them so here we will connect both this point so this is the addition of this two now we want multiply with a so next we will consider a so again let's consider transmission gate over here so now we required a at this point so a 
so definitely there is a, a bar over here now this whole term is again our operation with a bar c bar so let's take a bar c bar so for a bar c bar we want to draw this so again consider one more transmission gate which will represent a bar c bar so for a bar c bar here we consider a bar and here we consider c bar so if a bar is over here we will have a over here now as there is a addition or or sign over here we will again join this so parallel connection of this and this is result as a f that is f is equal to a b plus a bar c plus a b bar c this is how you can design cmos transmission gates thank you